everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to do things with paper ever. So today I'm going to go through another big kit. I don't even know what's in here other than it's this one. <laughs> so I'm going to go through another big kit. Um, maybe there'll be some base pages. Maybe there won't. So it'll depend on if there is or not. Um, what I do tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I'll create base pages because I didn't see any just kind of popping through, but that doesn't mean they're not in here. And I don't know, we'll just go from there. Um, we'll do it from today until Friday. And then on Saturday, I'll do the layout share. And in between, I got some things coming also. So definitely, I appreciate you being here. Anything I talk about, I will link below so you can check it out. And let's just have some fun wrong way when you're going to shuffle through pictures and paper, right? That's what we do when we scrapbook. I know there's a glare, so for that, I'm sorry. Now, it looks like these are of my two youngest kiddos um, and my second oldest daughter. She was such a joy and such a good help to me when I had her baby brother and sister. Let's see here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, my God. My guess, it looks like a paper pad, obviously. So, aren't these pretty? Those are pretty. Uh, lots of floral. Yep, definitely a paper pad. Let's see, follow your dreams, very pretty. I have no idea what paper pad this came through from. Some blue, I don't see any base pages, that's for sure. Well, it looks like a few papers from a same paper pad. So those all go together easy. Looks like I threw in a couple of florals. Oh, I bet these are all the same pad though. Some blue, cause I think in here he's got quite a bit of blue and yellow. So I bet that's what my basis was on. Let's see, and these are the same as this one. So do that one. I threw this in there, must've came cause it has, I. Pretty sure I saw that, didn't I? Oh no, they all start to look the same. Uh, I gotta swear I saw that floral. Was it the first one we did? No, but it's pretty close, pretty close. Pretty darn close. Okay, so I'm gonna assume this, oh, duh, Ginger. So it is from the paper pad. Now, I don't know about all of you, but I run into a problem with paper pads because more often than not, they are not 12 by 12. They're like 11 and three quarters by 12. So we'll see what happens when we cut off the end here. Oh, look at that. Now see, I like this. This is this is my jam here. This is a fall rich color. I, I like this one a lot. In case you couldn't tell. It's kind of got a little foil in it too. That's pretty. Okay, let's see some fussy cutting to do maybe. Oh, a piece of blue vellum. Let's see, and then I just, looks like I just put some cardstock. Blue, pink, yellow, green. I see two green, let's see. Well, this is pretty, it's basil. Um, and then it looks like I just did bases. So I did not do any base pages for this one, which means I have a couple of options. I have not decided, yeah, it's this side. This is the texture side. I have not decided if I am going to do base pages as just like film them and do them. I don't know if I'm that brave yet or if I'm just gonna do the base pages and then come back and embellish like I have been doing. I don't know, I have to fill that out. I'm <laughs> not sure yet. <laughs> I also still have to get some embellishments together. This one, I think this is one of the last ones I put together. I did not put any embellishments in with this. So, let's see, since I haven't really done a whole lot, I think what I'm going to do for today, let's see, what should I do here? Let me let me go through these pictures real quick. Like I have all of these of Junior. These were when he was first born. I know they were, I remember these. Of course, at that time, 2009, we did doubles of everything. So I've already scrapped these. These will be for my album. I've already done them for his. No, I have to double check that. It might be vice versa. But I know I've done these pictures once. So I will definitely, um, and these are all of my, my daughter Jillian at the park. 
when she was little, we lived right close to a park and her older sister, bless her heart, 2008, October, 2009. See, I do have, do have them labeled. Um, her older sister helped me so much, so much. I don't know what I would have done without her sisters. Anyway, so I will concentrate first on these. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe, you guys remember these blankets from the hospital? Goodness, goodness. Time flies. I think maybe let's just pick, let's, let's, I think I can do these maybe in one double layout for all of these and then a single layout for these. So I think what I'm going to do right now today while I'm videoing is pick papers just for those two. Now I do not have a problem using boy and floral. Some people do. So, you know, you have to do what's best for you. I don't mind. I definitely like the yellow. I like the blue. But, do I have two of these? <laughs> no, I don't. Of course not. That would be way too easy. I only have one. Oh, no, I have two yellow. Okay, so... Let's see, I have three yellow. Let's see if these are true 12s. Okay, right, there was not a second one of those, I thought, maybe. Let's make sure before I decide to cut it up here. Okay, oh, look, there is two, okay. Yay! All right. I kind of already know what I want to do. And there is white cardstock, so maybe we'll go that way. I don't know. Can decide. All right. So I don't want the floral to be prominent. It's going to depend on whether or not this is a true 12 by 12. So let's put it on the 12. And of course not. We're going to cut right through the hole. See that? It is not going to, that's so frustrating, so frustrating. Can't even begin to tell you. But, so this will go in my, I just keep my little border strips in a mason jar on my desk. And when it gets full, I address them and sort them by color for now. That's where they are. So then the next question is, is, because I can flip this over if this, that's the one thing about these these ones like this. See, that's not a true 12 by 12 either. But if I flip it over on this side, you don't see that line. So I can go just like this, 12 and 12. Maybe I'll just create a base page today for this. Okay, so there's that. Then, what would I like to do? Let's see here. I don't know. I do know I'm going to have two. And a lot of these I can probably crop. Double. Is this one a double? Wait, was that not the same picture? I just get like snap happy that day. <laughs> oh, it's pretty close, it's pretty close. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we don't need 500 of the same one. Oh, look, there's a close-up. So definitely that one. He's so cute. They grow up so fast. So fast. That's a devil. This one's a little different. That's a devil. That's a devil. And I'm just kind of... Okay, that one's a little different. Okay, these are doubles. They'll go in an envelope. And I will mark them scrapped once I'm done. And I don't know, maybe I can do it one page. Maybe I don't need both of these. Bet I can cut all of these down to four by fours. Hmm. And still get the gist. So four by four, four by four. Maybe leave this one. I kind of like this one. All right. I think we're gonna get one page, one page. And if that's the case, I know what I want to do. So I'll mess with the cut of these. I'm going to do this as, let's see, if I do, these are going to be four by four. 
I'm going to do four and a half by 12 for here. And I can go this way. I did four and a half so that I can still mat these on white and put them on there. So I could go, did this say I wanted that one to be? I need to just pick, I'm thinking four. This one definitely four by four. Mm, this one, cause it's closer, a four by four. And I'm liking this one. And then this one, I'm gonna cut down, but go this way. So what I'm gonna do, let's cut these down real quick. I'm just making a base page, a simple base page. This is how I do it. <laughs> I don't know anyone else wants to do it, but this is how I do it. Okay, four by four. One. Gosh, I miss my kids being little. I do, I do. Okay, four by four. This one might end up being a little bigger than four by four, but that's okay. Let's see, let's cut this way first. I don't know if you guys can see me if I'm in frame. I'm sorry, I should have paid attention to that. Four by four. Okay. Four. Hmm, I don't know if I'm not gonna leave that by a four by six. Okay, so. Two where he's facing the other way. I will mount these on white. Now, when you do this, sometimes, all the time, you cannot, you will literally have them end to end, right? Because there's four, four times three is 12. There's 12 inches this way. So I will trim each of these down by a quarter of an inch and then I will take 12 by 12. So this is, what is this? Four and a quarter. I, what I'm gonna do is instead of matting each one of these singly, I'm just gonna put a strip here, right? And it needs to be a four and a quarter. Okay, so four and a quarter. And that's just one of the pieces of white cardstock I had in there. Now, the question I always ask myself, and I'm not going to this time, I don't think, is do I want to, I could cut this a little smaller, but then I'm gonna have to cut down these photos even more, so I'm not gonna do that this time. And I know this is not even, it's not even close, but then I will cut off a quarter of an inch, inch off of each one of these. Quarter on that one. They're still going to be four this way. And right now it looks awkward, but to me, once it's it's in there, it's not. You don't notice it. Okay. All right. So I'll put this way. Not this one. Okay. So we're going to go here, and this is just laid out. Really simple. Uh, obviously, tack it all down before we do tomorrow's layout and embellishment this. Embellish. <laughs> embellishment? <laughs> now see how I have some room now, right? So, here's what I would do. I might decide to cut a tiny bit off. I, no, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to leave it just like this. I have the blue peeking through. It'll all get lined up with my T-square, all that good stuff. And then those will go like that. I will mount this and I will probably double mount it just like I did these. And I'm probably gonna go here. And that would be my base page. Okay, so I need, let's see here. Four and a quarter, six and a quarter. That one, 
done for her. Okay, so then I need four and a half, right? By six and a half. Open it up, open it up. You know, because I watch others use this upside down, I totally use it upside down. I use it upside right, it does not phase me. Left handed, right handed, I just pull it out. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Okay, so then I would have this double matted and I'm gonna put it somewhere here probably most likely here. I'll do a journaling block, journaling block here. Um, and then I will probably have a title and some embellishments and or around. So tomorrow I will come back and we will put this page together, do the embellishments. That will be layout one. And at the end of the video, I will do another base page. I'll kind of have an idea though. I will kind of put it together and we'll just kind of this is how I consider base pages. This is a very simple design. Not really, that's why I do these kits. It's to get pictures done. It's not to do super complicated um, layouts. It, it isn't for me. It's to get as many pictures done as fast as I can because I have, literally I counted, I have 10 photo boxes full of photos. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. Okay, so this is what we'll do tomorrow. Um, I will pull out some embellishments and I'll have a better grasp on the rest of the week. Sorry, I'm just running like a chicken with my head cut off today. So thank you guys for coming. I hope I didn't drive you crazy. I hope I made sense of what I was saying and I appreciate you. Have a very blessed day and I will be on my game tomorrow. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.